cannot believe that there would be a day that I'd be able to stare at, at it, like my TV and go, Combs isn't the most annoying thing to me right now. But <laughs> how in God's name do you tick me off so much? That one night, I probably should drink a little bit less. Thank God you guys didn't bring me on and I called the last second on your cell phone because I'm pretty sure I was slurring like this. <laughs> Dude, you were driving me nuts. I was ta- typing in all caps. I probably looked like I was like unable to speak clearly. Actually, it, it you insane. you were not typing in like all caps. It was like every other like every other letter was capitalized. That Tyrod Taylor crap. I don't know. What well, that's because that. I'm picking on you. You're like, no, oh, Tyrod Taylor. No, oh, he's so good. He's amazing. Tyrod <laughs> Taylor going Hall of Fame. Yeah, he is going Hall of Fame now. I say Tyrod Taylor, and I see you go. Oh. Like you get a little tweak notion going in your neck. It's it's insane. Oh, yeah. It's it's crazy. <laughs> that's actually just... not a tweak notion in his neck. That's actually his shorts getting tighter. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going with. Yes, I was does. trying to keep it PG thirteen. I actually just got a splinter because it's going right against my desk. Tyrod. Tyrod Taylor and Detroit Lions, man, you just Buck knows what's up. He's he's really selling this show big time. Hence the reason I have to be on here. God. Yeah, Buck pulls up his shirt. He's got Tyrod tatted across his abs. Yeah. In the in those Tyrod letters, Tyrod he life. probably was trying to do it himself. He was t- <laughs> just like little T, big Y, just because I have to. <laughs> you actually oh, have to look man. at it in a mirror in a car to see what it says, though. It, like, the I, fact I, that I you know numbers. that just proves it, Buck. <laughs> You had that answer right away. I don't want to see you without your shirt on, though. Please, let's let's not do that. Next next Wednesday, I I got something special for you. Oh God, that scares me. I don't. (laughs) Did the subscriber count just go down? I think I can see. Oh man, yeah, the viewership did definitely. (laughs) (laughs) Soup. So you got some stuff you want to come at us about? You were saying so. So let let's go with it. What do you What do you got to come at us with? This is what it's all about. All right. As I sit here with the fans and I watch this great show and I scream at my television and wonder what the heck you guys are talking about. There are some things you guys start battling with me and you and you make sure you pick and choose when in the chat and you and buck half the time you don't read the full words and you make it out to be something else and i gotta yell at you more in the chat which is an obvious take by you see the problem is he does read the full words he just (laughs) he just doesn't understand them all What is this T A T word? He's trying to sound it out the whole time. Everybody mean? thinks he stutters. Yeah. He's actually trying to read. Yeah. That's, that's that is true. I am from Kansas, and we have a fifth grade le- level education. At Explains best. everything. Yeah. When I can sit here and say I'm in Oklahoma, and I understand that, that's a pretty bad thing, buddy. Yeah. But uh, so I want to come with at you guys because I know I don't have the whole night. But there are three things that uh, in the last week or so that I've looked at here, and I've just gotten into ridiculous fights. And for if you haven't listened to any of the previous uh, uh, shows that Buck, uh, I mean, not Buck, uh, Combs and I used to do, I bring data. I bring facts. Combs hates it. He just wants to go with his feelings. He's all in touch with his girly (laughs) side and all this stuff. And uh, this is what I think it feel. Which, by the way, Combs, by the way, how does it feel to know that the Cardinals are in the playoffs? I told you. I told you every single year. Why do you Uh. deny the fact that they're going to the playoffs. It's ridiculous. It's just a can, basic stat. Can you mute him now? Uh, we, I, I forgot how to mute things. <laughs> he I, suddenly you know, look, forgot you know, how to do you know it. How I take, you know how I take it with the St. Louis Cardinals? I take it with the St. Louis Cardinals because I'm all right with it because Jameis Winston's a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. And week one, he is He is after one week, for week one of the 2020 NFL season, he is a top 10 quarterback. Congratulations. He will be for 16, 17. Congratulations. This, week, this year. And, and and I just can't wait for the excuses, man. When he has his first bad game, you're just going to be like, oh, remember in week one when he beat the Packers and Aaron Rodgers? Well, he's, back from he's not allowed to have depressed. any bad games. Aaron Rodgers had a bad game. Yeah, Aaron. Ro- so he's allowed to have a bad game, right? Because Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, Rodgers has and Jameis Winston is on, are on the same season. page. Oh, my God. Combs, stop How it. many times has Aaron Rodgers thrown for 5,000 yards and 30-plus touchdowns? How many oh, times? Never. Never. How many times has Jameis, Jameis Winston not looked at the jerseys on the field and saw there's 22 people I could throw to? I'm sorry, 21. <laughs> if he could throw it to himself, he probably would. But yeah, he he might have tried it once. <laughs> yeah, probably. But anyways, let's hop into this. I don't want to take up the whole night, guys. But I've got three things here. Number one, there was a conversation in Combs. We're going to start with you. Why not? Let, let's go by uh, the, the old ways here. 
But um, you sat here and you were talking about the Raiders and you guys were talking about Derek Carr. And the statement came out, when, man, if Deshaun Watson could be on the Raiders, just how much better they would be. And, and I'm going to give you a word exponentially. You guys didn't use that word. It's too big for you. But that's pretty much what you were doing. You were saying they would be exponentially better with Deshaun Watson. I said, no, they wouldn't be. They may be a little better, but they're not going to be extremely better. And you guys called me crazy. Combs and Tori, you guys lit into me about how I was just ridiculous. It made no sense because Deshaun Watson is just the king of everything. He could go to any team probably. You guys are just letting Derek Carr be the most underrated quarterback in the National Football League. But I'm not just going to say it. Let's back it up a little bit here because, Combs, you started going into, oh, these are all the reasons why. The Raiders' offensive line is a pretty decent offensive line. Combs, they're ranked 26 in the league. 26 offensive line. That's two better than Russell Wilson, who we always talk about the fact that the guy's going to get killed someday and they're wasting his talent. 26. You're like, well, their defense. I mean, they got a pretty good young defense over there. 26 ranked defense. I mean, as a whole, this is not a great offensive line that's sitting in front of Derek Carr. This is not a great defense that's on the other side. I mean, they made sure they took their best player and Cleo Mack and said, see you later to give any chance for them to do that well. Hey, they tried this, to trade back for him this offseason. They they did. They did. <laughs> they figured, well, we need to get some attention. Let's uh let's hey, how much would you take for him back? I mean, there's no way I'm gonna do it, but you know, let's let's get some spice going in Las Vegas here. But so Derek Carr himself is and I get it, he's ranked 13th. And again, this isn't me saying Deshaun Watson's not an amazing quarterback because he's ranked fourth. But you guys were talking about the Raiders' record and how terrible, and yet do you remember what their record was last year? I believe they're eight and eight, Who, right? Raiders? They were, they eight, were and eight. eight and eight. They were a 500 yeah. team. Again, nothing over the top amazing, but they were eight and eight. You guys were talking about it like they're three, four win type of team. And yet Deshaun Watson last year had the 20th ranked offensive line, which is seven better. He had a, a, a decent offense that was ranked 15th compared to cars at 14th as a whole. And yet his team was four and 12. He had a little bit better on the completion percentage. He had a few more rushing yards. Uh, I mean, uh, passing yards, about six, 700 passing yards, um, about six more TDs. Passer rating was about 10 more. And they had about the same amount of fumbles and everything, same amount of rushing TDs. So you're telling me that Deshaun Watson being a little bit better on the stats, but with a better offensive line, a far better overall team rank, a better overall system outside defense, which has nothing to do with Deshaun Watson. Somehow you're going to pick him up Put him in this system with Derek Carr, and automatically they're going to be exponentially better than eight and eight. What do you think? Deshaun Watson's going on this Raiders team, and they're going to be what, 13 and four this year? Are you crazy? It makes no sense. There's no logical sense. You trash Derek Carr, who's the most underrated quarterback in this league, who gets better every single year, year in, year out, better in ratings better in passing, better in efficiency, and you go, yeah, but they suck. They suck with him. Their own line's pretty good. Their defense is pretty good. Talking right out of your rear ends, and it, the stats don't back it up. That's, so see, maybe super- Deshaun Watson gets them a win more, but it, it is not exponentially better. It makes no sense. No that, sense whatsoever. This is where you you talk about Buck or, or me or Tori like to pick and choose the comments. That whole segment was started out. By we were talking about Derek Carr being the most underrated quarterback in the NFL, and then we you were said talking that about him being most underrated. Der- the, he, we know he, he's an underrated quarterback in the NFL. We know that. I know he's a good quarterback. I know if he goes to an organization because I even said that that night during the argument. If he went to another organization that could build around him, and and had a good coaching staff, he would be. A good quarterback. He would be a quarterback that could go to a Super Bowl. He could be a quarterback that could possibly win a Super Bowl. Deshaun Watson, however, this is where you go to the eye test. Deshaun Watson automatically becomes a a makes your team better because of the things he does on the field. They went last year, he had better stats than Derek Carr did, better numbers than Derek Carr did all the way around. But they might have been a little bit better, but they were still better. A little bit better with, with, with a better the whole, team. With the whole, uh, it was not a better yeah. team. So better, better O line. They, they traded DeAndre you... Hopkins, and they said they were going to start running the ball <laughs> with David Johnson. 
So because, yeah, you give so you put Deshaun not. Watson with the Raiders with Josh Jacobs and even their receiver core because they're again Deshaun Watson's one of those quarterbacks that they're can make a an average team. receiver. They are not. Look you, good. you think they would have went from eight wins to twelve wins, 12 wins even with all that? Deshaun, he had a Deshaun better Watson, offensive yes. line in front of him last year. How much did no. that? How much he did that? Houston won four better. games. Four he games. made his offensive look. Derek wait, Carr you, won four more games with a worse offensive line. How the but heck? Soup, you know, just like I know that a, that a mobile quarterback, a quarterback that can make things happen, makes an, a, a trashy offensive line look a little bit better. That's the whole reason why I say that Justin Fields is ready to start for for the Bears now. Is hey, because don't jump on my next segment. Tra- they have a trashy offensive line. But he can run around and he can make things happen. And he's going to make that offensive line do better because it's going to take pressure off the offensive line, which is what Deshaun Watson was able to do. For you Deshaun say Watson I Watson on the Raiders last year with, with Ruggs, with all the guys that they have, with Jacobson, with the, with the team that they had last year, they're a 12-win team. It's but it's a, it's such it's such a baloney read on that. You're just you're just automatically just saying just because Deshaun Watson can run it around, he automatically makes them four wins better when they were four wins worse with a better offensive line and everything around him. Oh, overall, yes, you've got Jacobs and everything like that, who's still a rookie running back. Where you think all of a sudden Jacobs' numbers are going to be the same Their if you have Deshaun Watson as Their a running quarterback? Line was better statistically because Deshaun Watson made them better statistically. Because you can do it with the quarterback, sacks you can that roll the pocket. There were sacks you can that run aren't RPOs. allowed. There were sacks that aren't allowed because Deshaun Watson can escape pressure and turn losses into gains. Derek Carr does not have that ability. Oh there no, he's a pocket he quarterback. Where Darn. he can throw, where, where he can throw on the run better than that, Derek Carr they, they and make, make things happen. He, there are things that make the offensive line statistically better. And they weren't, it's not like you're talking about the seventh ranked offensive line versus the 27th ranked offensive line. You're talking about the 25th versus the 20th. You're the they're, one that sat there, their Colts and said they had a great, decent offensive line. I'm opposing your damn comment. You said, well, the Raiders have a really good and offensive line. And now I'm opposing your comment. Line. 26 <laughs> rank all line. Two better than Seattle. This is like Brandon Seattle. versus Brandon. Two better than <laughs> Seattle. Two. And we talk about how Seattle does nothing to help Russell Wilson. That it's garbage. They're going to kill him. But you better. Whoa, man, that's great. Thank Seattle God does got plenty to, to help Russell Wilson. What are you talking about? Seattle has helped Russell Wilson Not plenty. With the Russell line. Wilson just Stay disappears. On Stay Russell on Wilson disappears offensive after week line. seven. Offensive line. And by the way, if you're going to give me this eye test bull crap, tell me how many Derek Carr games that you fully watched from beginning to end last year. <laughs> A lot. I watched, I watched a lot of football from beginning to end. A last lot year. of football. I don't football. care who's playing. How much Derek Carr <laughs> did you watch? Uh, I would say out of their 16 games last year, I probably watched, I would say, six games. This whole six games. And you think that's, in what you saw in plenty. six games you can't, that he was just ter- that he was just terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I know you no, said that he was a good quarterback. Terrible. But you think that what you saw out of a, what maybe six games with Deshaun Watson, let's just say it's an even keel. You seriously think that that was four more wins yes, on those teams? No doubt in my mind. What type of magic soup do you drink every single day, Combs? It's not because the soup is spilled over here. Jeez, my goodness gracious. I forgot what this is like. 